What's up guys, in this video I want to talk about how to start meditating the right way. This video is very important, especially if you're a beginner um, and trying to explore meditation, I think this video is going to be very helpful for you. So let's start with qu answering the question, why should you start meditating? I think the first um, thing I can talk about and uh, the first way, thing I could talk about it in terms of answering this question is you know two years ago when I started this journey of start um, building fit soul I started studying a lot of successful people a lot of CEOs and they all had this one thing in common they meditated and I started like under trying to understand why they wanted why they meditated and instead of uh, trying to seek the answer I was like you know what I'm gonna start meditating every single day uh, and see how the how that affects me and it's incredible what meditation does in your everyday life you know it makes you have a more calm mindset a more calm de calmer demeanor when you're interacting with people and when you're calm when you're interacting with people you're less likely to get into arguments and even if you do get into arguments you know you can have a very healthy uh, conversation with someone uh, where at the end of the conversation you're still friends uh, at the end of the day um, and also just being just in the moment I think is very important with meditation I think allowing um, training your brain to uh, build that muscle of focus I think is very important especially in this day and age where we're constantly distracted by all these different things around us in terms of no phone notifications um, you know, email notifications, anything with, with all this technology that we have. Meditation allows us to build that like focus, the muscle of focus in our mind um, so we can actually get things done that are actually productive or um, kind of things that kind of push us forward and take us to the next level. So that's answering the first question uh, when it comes to how to start or why it's very beneficial to meditate every single day. Um, so a lot the inspiration for this video actually came from um, talking to this girl a few weeks ago you know she was telling me how she wanted to meditate so she actually sat down to try, uh, attempt meditation for five minutes so she you know got into a room um, sat down and closed her eyes and was trying to just you know experience um, the so-called meditative state first off you know it, you really can't get to the meditative state on your first try like your first attempt ever um, that's just because of you know our constant conditioning with how the world works currently with all these distractions so you know she was telling me how she was struggling with um, just sitting there for such a long period of time she thought five minutes was a very long period of time which is understandable when you're not constantly stimulated by things around you and she only got through only two minutes of meditation and this is very interesting to me you know I think you know the ways to kind of tackle that problem I think a lot of people want to meditate it's just like exercising a lot of people know they should exercise they know that exercise is gonna keep their body in good shape that will allow them to live longer allow them to do the things that they love for longer periods of time but they lack the, the motivation or they lack the knowledge of how to sustain um, yourself and how to mentally be motivated every single day to go, to go to the gym the same principle applies to meditation and I think a lot of the struggle that a lot of people have is um, you know they go the first time into meditation and attempt it for a very long period of time you know this could be even five to ten minutes you know um, or even 30 minutes being very ambitious initially especially for someone who hasn't been able to just sit down and just be quiet and just be with their mind I think is very um, I can see a lot of roadblocks especially for beginners who want to start meditating and that's like the first thing you know also another good um, technique or not technique but a, a tool that a lot I, I use personally sometimes uh, when I go into like these meditation funks is I use guided meditation I think guided meditation is very um, very useful sometimes when you need some sort of facilitated type of um, conversation in your ears uh, your earbuds um, when you're trying to meditate and it allows your brain to focus on things that the person is talking about in, uh, during the guided meditation so two of my favorite meditation apps are actually headspace and calm they're two different uh, so uh, headspace is pro pretty much just one guy um, who was a monk for 10 years um, 
somewhere in China or somewhere and he came back and he you know used this knowledge to create this guided meditation type of platform so he goes through different types of guided meditations uh, depending on what you're feeling so if you need um, to feel more calm right before a big speech or if you're trying to use meditation to improve your overall health the headspace is a very good um, application to go to uh, the second one is calm calm is very unique and I love the way they kind of do um, their meditations, which is they have sounds of different locations. So they have sounds of creeks, they have sounds of rivers, they have sounds of clouds, um, uh, different types of, or even thunderstorms um, or rain hitting the roof of a metal roof um, or a aluminum roof. Uh, sounds like that um, constantly playing in the background. So you could, you know, go on their website and just listen to it and feel more relaxed and more meditative. Those are like different ways you can kind of like initially start meditating. I think guided meditation is still um, is a very good first step into meditation, I think, because still you're getting that semi um, stimulation from an outside source, but you're also um, really using what they're saying as a way to guide your experience and start focusing on just your mind and your body and how it's feeling. I think that's a very useful first step. So those are my two little tips and advices I think that will help a lot of beginners kind of like get on this journey of meditation. I think that's very, um, those are two big key components which is starting very small with shorter amounts of time to try to meditate, gain momentum and keep going and trying to go for longer periods of time and then guided meditation apps or CDs that you can find online I think are very useful as well. So that's what I wanted to talk about in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did like this, make sure to subscribe. If you're new, never watched this video or watched me, um, my name is Herschel Patel. I'm the creator of Fit Soul, um, focusing on how to use fitness and meditation to live a more mindful life style. So if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, have a good day, guys.